Hope everybody's safe and well. Um, today I'm going to change a turbo on a 2016 X-Trail. It's a Nissan X-Trail. And um, yeah, I need to lift the engine out to get to the turbo because the turbo is right over the back end of the engine. So here's the car. So I have actually started to remove some of the bits and pieces. That was a few weeks ago, just to have a look. Um, to find out where the turbo was, and the turbo is right over the back there, which is why you have to remove the um, engine. So, um, I'm not going to show you me removing the engine. I'll remove it and uh, take it from there. So there you go, I've got the engine out and this is the back end of the engine this is, and um, this is the turbo that I need to replace. I've got myself a new turbo to replace it with obviously. So I just need to undo these three nuts here, take the heat shield off. and then undo the bolts down the bottom here. Once the heat shield's off it, it reveal the bolts that are underneath. And then we can have a look at why it destroyed itself. I'm just gonna start taking this off and uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. is the old turbo and as you can see it's just absolutely full of oil and the shaft in the center there is it it moves I'd say about a five mil backwards and forwards which is not supposed to move at all so it's probably pushed past its oil seals because there's the oil chamber here and uh, blows oil into the into the um, turbo there. So um, yeah, messy, messy. So I've got the old. I've got this this one off. It's the old one. Um, studs are snapped. Um, that's, that's quite usual. Um, I've removed these studs here because the turbo that we got didn't have any um, bolts with it, which is a shame really. Um, and that's that. This one here is the new. It's got my grubby paw prints all over it. I put the new studs on it already. Okay. Got a new gasket on here. And I'm about to just place that in there like so. And then Mary Bolt put the nuts on underneath. Put that bolt in. Well, it's like that. That will do.
So I'm just going to go over what I did last night while the dark, while it was dark. Um, so all this is done up. So we've got the three, three bolts. Don't know if you can see my finger there, can we? Not really. I've got black gloves on. But there's three bolts in there. So there's one, two, and then one down the back there. Three. So that goes on to the um, exhaust here. <clears throat> and then underneath here, we've got two nuts here. And over the back down right down in there I'll point it out if I can down the back there okay another nut there and that will release the turbo from the manifold obviously I had all this removed anyway which I've put back on so that's what I did last night while it was dark so what I'm doing at the moment is where I've gone round and removed the wiring harness um, we've got loads of these cable ties that um, I've obviously had to cut so like this one here and um, what I'm doing is I'm going round and I'm taking the ratchet or the cut bit of ratchet out. I'll do this one handed. Like so. Get myself a pair of side cutters. Cut this little tab off just here like that. Get myself a cable tie. There's a little space here. Just feed it through like so and there we have a new fix in for the wiring harness now originally you'd replace them with these that would be in there um, but these are quite expensive compared you know in comparison to a cable tie so that's what I do there so Prepping the engine before it goes back in is always a really good idea. Um, many times have I made mistakes and forgetting to put um, cable ties and bits and pieces, especially around the back of the engine. On the front of the engine here, it's not too much of an issue. But on the back of the engine, and this is right underneath at the back, I mean, you, you can get to these two, but they're very difficult, but ones like these under here and these here, and you're just not going to do it. You're not going to reach them. This is going to be tucked right over the back. You probably won't even get your hand down the back here. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, so just slowly go around replacing them all, making sure it's all prepped, ready to go in. Try and make life as easy as you possibly can, I suppose. So that's that, let's get that back on there. So it's just a matter of just checking that everything's in the right place. Everything's, especially for the heat shields, making sure that we've got all the cables in the right place.
okay it's dark again I didn't video much of me putting it in I actually did it on my own which I'm quite pleased with it went straight in there was no hassle with it so all the wiring's done there's a couple of little bits uh, there and there and the the bits along the front here that's go attached to the bumper and the lights here um, but yeah all of them bits the engines in it's great happy with that and got the drive shafts back in I've just finished that now was a bit of a pain when I put the engine in I left the drive shaft on this side I left it attached to the engine and the drive shaft went across the other side of this stabiliser here so I had to take that stabiliser off move the prop shaft across and then reattach the stabiliser but it worked out in the end it worked out it's all good it's all good that's excellent I'm really pleased it's been hard work it's only three degrees I'm bloody frozen but uh, yeah it's getting there I can't do no more until next weekend now so and that but generally but just basically putting the uh, uh, front bumper and all the sensors radiators in and all the rest of it um, and then I'll have to recharge the um, air conditioning drop the oil do an oil change um, the filter don't look too bad at the air filter that's just my grubby mitts that have been on it um, yeah it's uh, it's pretty good really I'm quite happy with that so that's that good morning everyone bit of a crisp morning it's zero degrees at the moment um, hence why I look like a well Teletubby I think anyway hmm. always start the day with tea now so the engine's in I've just got this lot to put in <laughs> yeah and then it should be done so Better get on with it, not I? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.